Hi everyone, welcome to GRP tutorial. Starting this episode, I've changed my channel name into Calvev Gaming. Calvev is my in-game name in most of the games I played and with this change, I'm looking forward to do reviews and tutorial on other games as well. For today's episode, we are going to look at the support class in detail and I hope that after you watch this episode, you could become a better as a support class in GRP. So, support is a class that main job is to carry the team. I would call him the initiator. Most of the time, the team movement is dictated by his action. A blackout blast or an APS shield would normally initiate the team push. Support is also excellent when used for defensive play. For my support loadout, I prefer to go hybrid with my LMG. Equipped with a full stock and a foregrip, I'm able to take both close quarter and long range. In a close quarter combat, I have a better control with my foregrip attached, while for long range, I will fire my weapon in a controlled burst for better accuracy. For armor choice, I prefer the light armor so that I could get a speed bonus to deliver my abilities as far as possible into the enemy's territory. On my ability setup, I have both my abilities upgraded to tier 3. On my blackout, I have effect upgrade to increase my blackout radius and regen upgrade to speed up the recharge. For my APS upgrade, I have duration upgrade and also the regen upgrade. As for passive ability, I have also chosen the energy regen. With so many energy regen equipped, this would allow the support to throw his ability more often. Now that we have covered the support loadout, I'll be giving you some tips on using the support abilities. The usage of the support abilities is simple and yet hard to execute. What you would want to do is to activate your abilities as near as possible to the enemy, which sometimes may get you killed. However, a good execution of your ability will yield a greater good for your team as a whole. Now what is the best time to use your ability? For blackout, I would say activate your abilities when you see at least 3 enemies or more they are stacking together and within your reach. Therefore, you ensure that you can take out all the abilities at once. As for APS, the easiest to use this is when you see your friend is using ADS. Activate it and start the combo. Simple rule to follow, do not use your APS alone because it won't be so effective. Now that you all know the theory, it's time to show you on the field test. Hello everyone, in this first playthrough video, I'm going to show you how to use APS and ADS combo. So I decided to spawn with my APS so that I can push the enemies and then I realized that one of our teammates is using the ADS. And that is when I decided to follow up with my APS combo and I tried to run as far as possible so that I can gain as much ground. I spotted two enemies on the right and then I threw a grenade so that I can land a few kills. And then that oracle helped me to spot the enemies on the left. Now from this point, I'm trying to buy as much time as possible for my teammates while avoiding that grenade. And as soon as I, I managed to secure that and I got killed, my teammate is already about 90% over capturing the point. And after that, one of our teammates follow up with a defensive uh, APS play with um, popping up his APS and then just mowing down people and just keeping them down and that is how we managed to capture the point. In this second playthrough video, I'm going to show you how to use your blackout abilities effectively. So here we are trying to capture point D and I noticed that the enemy's reinforcement are coming in. And right now there are one enemies behind those cover and soon you will see that they are trying to come in to point D to prevent us from capturing. So now I estimated there are three on the left cover and one on the right. So now total about five enemies behind those cover. So I activate my blackout and then I managed to take out about four enemies with my blackout. And then from there, my teammates just swoop in with their abilities and kill the rest of them. And that is how we managed to capture point D. One more thing that I want to show you guys in this video is blackout placement. Blackout is a sphere, so it can affect enemies as long they are within that sphere. It can affect enemies above, below or beside you. 
as you can see I, uh, I managed to black out two enemies just by activating it behind that wall and this is the end of this episode please subscribe if you like my channel and share the video to your friends if you have any other question please feel free to leave a comment and i'll be more than happy to answer them until next time bye